Hello and welcome back to Princesses Life. So the last week and a bit have been a bit eventful for Princess and Alonzo. They both obviously realise that Princess is currently pregnant with their first child and even though they're both excited, it was kind of unexpected and all of a sudden they're now thinking oh my god we can't afford to look after ourselves let alone a little one and obviously the fact that they weren't married yet and they really wanted to be married before they had the child so they spoke about it together they had a bit of money saved away and they actually decided to elope now her mom who is a superstar and his mom actually found out that they'd eloped and they were kind of angry and upset that they'd done so behind their backs. They understood why they did the decision but they really wanted to help them out in some way so they decided to send them away on a nice honeymoon while they secretly did up their house or added in a few stuff that they'd at least need for the infants so it'd be a nice surprise for when they come back. So they've been away for a little while and they've really been enjoying being on the boat together and just having time and not having to worry about money troubles like they always seem to have to. Unfortunately though, on the way back from their amazing experience on their honeymoon, they hit some really bad weather and it turned so bad that Alonso told Princess to get into the lifeboat that they had, the little dinghy, and he was actually going to get in with her. Unfortunately, he didn't make it and they got separated. She woke up stranded on this tiny little island. There are a few more islands around the area, but she has no idea where she is. She's completely all alone. The only clothes that she has is currently what she is wearing. She has no shoes, no way to communicate the outside world and yeah so she's kind of terrified at the moment because she doesn't even know if Alonzo is alive or not and obviously she is stuck here with no way to get any help no one would know where they are because they kind of went off course on the way back to have a bit more of a scenic route the boat has sunk and is now destroyed her little dinghy has holes in and is actually sunk underneath half underneath the water so she can't even use that anymore and she is of course pregnant with their first child so she's got to get herself ready at least to be able to have this child in case she's stuck here for that long so this is actually going to be a castaway challenge which is actually by Lexi Rue. The save file we are currently in is also by her. I have deleted all of the sort of extra sims that were still included and also hopefully turned off townies. So she is literally going to be the only sim in the entire world. Which obviously means her relationship panel and everything is not working right now. But don't worry we'll fix that eventually when things go back to normal. So we're going to loosely be following the rules by Lexi Lou. Now what I mean by loosely is that obviously I have a lot of mods installed. Secondly, this is not a brand new sim. This is a sim with a background with some skills already. So I'm not going to be doing like the scoring system because it's going to be messed up. Though she is going to be having the child while here. And I am going to try and follow the fact that you need to find resources such as shell shells, frogs and twigs in order to be able to get the required stuff to be able to sort of live peacefully. The only things that we actually have already on this island is we do have um, some water production here which is a barrel. We have a pump here so we can have some water. We can also look for some frogs in here as well. We have a tent which is just like she's made a little shack herself. There was a bench in here but I actually deleted it because we now have this here and we have this sort of axe on a stump. Maybe someone parsley was living here for a short time and they've left this behind just so if she ever makes any sort of you know wood piles and that it will make it a little bit more relievable as how she did that we also have this here which actually works as a shower i believe though it doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment so if that doesn't keep up like that then that's fine we do actually have the shower that's over in the distance we obviously can clean up the island a little bit. We can also gather some water, snorkel freely. We can do sort of all sorts of kinds of things. And of course, we can fish. So we actually are now starting with part one, which is Lost and Alone. 
Your sim awakes to find themselves alone on a deserted island. They have no resources or shelter and need to figure out how to f survive in this unknown land. Luckily, there's a small cave nearby that will provide shelter and a place to nap for a sim. So obviously in this prospect, I have actually removed the bench. So we'll just be in this sort of makeshift little tent thing here. And I'll just kind of say that there was someone here at one point a long time ago, but they were only here for a short time. And this is what they kind of made. So rather than having a bench, we'll just sleep in there. Objective one is to go fishing. Your sim is getting hungry and needs to fish to catch dinner. Once you have successfully caught a fish, you may make a campfire to cook your fish, but obviously we need to have the resources in order to do so. Explore island two. So we won't do that just yet. <laughs> so first off, I'm actually going to get her to go and fish while if she can, hopefully she can if she can't because she's far too uncomfortable okay am i pregnant well you do know you are pregnant but that's fine so while she's actually getting over that what i will do is i'll actually move these into our inventory and they actually count as resources so we have two twigs there should be some more around here i have watched a little bit of her first video just so i could get the idea there's three twigs do we have more We've got a pea bush, which has already been used, thankfully. Uh, apparently we have to have it used already, which is disgusting, but you know. But four of those, I don't really see any more. Oh, there's some more at the entrance, isn't there? Yes, so five. Any more in here? <laughs> oh, she's in the zone now. Awesome. So let's go over and get her to do some fishing. We can also gather seaweed. Oh, that could be interesting. Oh, I see. That's very clever. I wouldn't have thought that these are twigs. So that's six. Any more around here? No. Um, I don't think I can see any more. Maybe they're like so tiny that I can't see them. Maybe I put them actually underneath the shower. <laughs> Which would kind of be annoying because uh, I would need to look under there but we won't worry if they are. We just have to go with what we've got and we'll just have to find some more stuff. So we could actually probably see if we could find some frogs in here perhaps. Yeah, look for frogs. Let's see if we can get a frog. We'll let her do some fishing first. Hopefully she can get some fish. So... Yes, looking at the, I literally have a paper of the rules right here. So resource value. So shells are one, frog is one, twigs is one. So in order to have a campfire, we need to have 10 resources, 15 for a fish trap, 10 for a woodworking table, two for a wall, 12 for a bed, 35 for a boat, eight for an infant crib, two for a toddler bed upgrade, 15 for a bathtub, 15 for a toilet, 12 for a dinner chair, 15 for a table, 8 for an end table, 3 for a pet bowl, and 4 for trash. Oh, we already caught a fish. Awesome. Now, I don't think that fish count as a resource, as in that we can sell. So that's fine, but we do need to find some more stuff. So I think as we have a fish already, let us look for some seashells and some frogs because i want to make sure that we at least have a fire because we have everything else that we need otherwise now once we get into this a bit more she'll obviously have the children or child or child oh we found a frog yes so we have seven seven resources so once we have what we need we'll just sell everything and then we can get ourselves a campfire and I actually have a CC one that I'm going to hopefully be able to use. So I'm excited for that. Well, objective one is done because we have gone fishing. So I guess we can explore the nearby island too. And we can take some of the seeds if we find anything. And then we need to make sure. So basically the end and we can explore island three as well. So the requirements to move on to part two is level three gardening, level two handless and level two fitness. Now... Obviously, she already has skills, as you can see. So her gardening is level one. So that's not, that's fine. Um, her handiness skill is probably maybe a little bit higher. Maybe she doesn't have it at all. 
Oh, handy list number five. I don't know if I can actually set that back down. I don't think you can sort of skill down very easily, which is kind of annoying. So, unfortunately, fitness is already done. Um, sorry, handiness is already done. I can't really do much about that. And fitness is four as well. But we'll make sure that we do um, the gardening first. Where are you going? I don't know why she's glowing like this. Is it because of the sun? Are we going to get like a tan? Oh yeah, burning. I'll just get rid of that. I kind of forgot I had that installed. So are, are you not finding anything? Like no seashells at all? I have to get some money. Like because I kind of would like... I have an idea of how this is going to end. Oh, we found one. Yes. So we have eight resources. Oh wait. Yes, eight resources. Awesome. So we just need two more and we can get the campfire. Oh yes, she found another one. Perfect. We just need one more and then we can get ourselves a campfire. And then we'll be able to at least cook our fish. And our needs are good, so that is always handy. So I think what we do is hopefully when we find another shell... We will then go and explore the second island, which I will double check which one it is. <laughs> so your sim sees an abandoned ship on a nearby island, decides to swim over for some resources. Once on the island, look around for plants that may use to start your garden. Your sim can only take one of each plant to make swimming back possible. So that's fair enough. <gasps> awesome, she found one. So we now have enough resources. So if I go one, so six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Obviously, that is included. Get rid of these. There we go. So now we can buy ourselves a campfire. Here we go. So this is going to be a little campfire. I think I'll put it maybe just outside here. For now, we can always sort of move things around. Like, I don't even know. Maybe we'll just build a shelter, not so much so like walls so we should be able to grill food i can eat it raw <laughs> don't really want to do that grill okay maybe we can't use this one. Oh, i guess this is acting as a grill oh okay never mind we won't unfortunately be using this one maybe we can upgrade to this one eventually but at the moment we can't use that one because it is a grill and not a fire pit, which we kind of need the fire pit. So let's just get a basic fire pit in here. There we go. And then we can light it. How we'd light it, I don't actually know, but <laughs> we can light it. Oh, okay. And then we'll go and explore the second island. There we go. So we can roast marshmallows. Okay, what is this? I don't really know. Roasted fish? Here we go. That was so complicated. <laughs> so here it says that we must catch at least 10 fish. I don't know where 7 came from. And reach level 3 of the gardening seal. I really don't know where 7 fish came from. <laughs> So let's cook this up real quick. At least that way we'll have it ready to go if we need to. Which I think we'll just eat it anyway. And then I think we need to go to... I just want to check which island it is. So I think we need to go... Yes, so this island here. But we can look for frogs again. Look for crevices. I think we'll look for frogs again. Oh my god! Who the hell are you? Who are you? I said no townies! Who are you guys? Crumble bottom? What is going on? No, 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 no. Okay, the fire's out, guys. The fire is out. And my fish food burnt. Are you serious? That is so sad. Well, you guys are not supposed to be here, you know. Um, I, I guess they're probably the only Sims in the entire world, so they've just kind of appeared. <laughs> okay, um, should we just go to the second island and just ignore that that ever happened? Because 
Oh dear. So let's go to location two. So we can just swim over there. I know we can swim over, but I actually want to be able to see. Oh, amazing. Okay. We've got some more resources here. So we're going to take everything that we can apart from, I guess, with the anything like harvestable, we will only take one of each, I think, to make it so that obviously we can. Ooh, what's this? Open. What is that? We got, ooh, we got some produce just laying on the ground. Okay, that's interesting. Well, we've got so much resources here. This is amazing. I was kind of worried that there wouldn't be enough stuff so that we couldn't do stuff. Um, but there looks like there's going to be a fair amount of resources here. So she's not in the best mood again. And she's a little bit hungry, but that's fine. We can, can you harvest these yet? No, okay. Let's see, oh, this is really cool, actually. I really like this build. Or like, I guess, object. It's an object, but it looks really cool. Kind of hoping to see if there's any more things planted, but I guess they haven't haven't been able to generate yet, which is kind of annoying. So at least we can come over here again a bit later if we want to and just harvest a few things. Oh, uh, harvest cherries. We'll harvest one of those. Some bugs going around. Oh, I found one of the gems. Oh, we got some bananas here. Let's harvest harvest the plantains. Any more twigs anywhere? Any more? I was kind of hoping to at least get a coconut, but I guess not today. Oh, I saw twigs. Twiggy twigs. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of all the excess um, harvestables and just have one of each. Oh, harvest the black beans. So I guess we can have all, like... So, once on the island, look around for plants that you may be able to start your garden. Your sim can only take one of each plant. That's fine. Okay. Um, anything else? I just kind of want to make sure we get ooh, all of these twiggy twigs. Uh, yeah, go water that. Why not? May as well take care of the plants while we are here. There we go. Um, we got so many twigs. This is amazing. I didn't think there'd be this many. Oh, you can collect the insects. Why don't you go do that? I'm just kind of disappointed that we can't get any coconuts. I really want a coconut. We're on an island, so we need coconuts. I'm kind of curious what this is. We obviously caught them. Okay, I think we can leave this for now. And I think we'll just go home. Just go home and then we will... Oh, okay, you just change your clothes straight away like that. Mm -hmm. I'll let her go home and then I'll put one of each on the ground and I'll delete the rest. So I'm not I'm not keeping all of these. It's just because I want to make sure that I only have one. So we are actually going to swim home. There we go. Acquired the swimming skill. So swimming and fitness are actually different. So maybe we could get the swimming skill up as our fitness could actually do that so fitness level two so we need to get to swimming level two i think that might be a good idea let me have a look so yeah swimming and fitness are going up at the same time but i feel like if we get our swimming to level two then that way it will kind of count as fitness level two Where are you going oh, okay I did have a mod that said I could spear the fish, but I can't actually... I thought I did, but I guess maybe not. And she's now going to go home, and then we're going to travel. <laughs> so I feel like we need to just make sure our garden's all sorted. So return to the island with your new seeds and start your garden. After all is uncertain how long you are trapped, your sim will need to reach level 3 of the gardening still for this object to, to be obtained. Will random townie stop spawning, please? Okay, so we are here. So I'm actually going to lay out these plants that we got. So we got one plantain, sell the rest. Obviously, money isn't really anything that we care about right now. We have one of those, one of these, one of these. Okay, so we have a couple of things. So I'm just going to get her to plant these real quick while she's in a good mood. And then we do need to go to the toilet and have food. Oh my gosh, we really need to have food. So, 
I feel like we need to go fishing. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare because she's not going to be in the mood to fish. You know what? While you're in a good mood, can you actually... Wait, what? Far too uncomfortable. She's not uncomfortable. She's fine. What are you on about? She's in an imaginative mood. Oh, no. This is a, this is a nightmare. What am I going to do? <laughs> Maybe don't plant this one. Can I eat this one? Oh, wow. That, that sprung up so fast. Can you eat this? Yeah. Just eat that, please. At least that way you won't be dying, I guess. Hopefully. Yeah, that gave me some. And then I guess just go and fertilise the bush. And I'm hoping you can now fit. Oh my god, why can't she fish? She is not in an uncomfortable mood. I don't know what you're on about. She is fine. This is a nightmare. I need food. I, I actually might die. At this Who the hell was that? Oh my god, you're not supposed to be here. And I can only travel from one in island one and two at the moment. Island two and three, which is obviously one, two, and three. So this is the save file that that person made. That's really cool. Um, I guess we can go back here maybe and just see if there's anything else to harvest because I, I'm literally at a wit's end right now. I don't really know what else I can eat. I should have just eaten that fish raw. I should have got some more fish when I had the chance. To be fair, it's my fault. Oh. And I missed these. I mean, we have some resources, but I just don't have... I missed loads of these. Are there any more? No. No more there. Oh. Any more here? No. Um, I don't really know what I can... Oh! Harvest all. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god, she looks awful. Go, 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 go. What? Oh no, 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 no. Please harvest. Please harvest. Please harvest. Harvest it. Princess, go here. And harvest tomatoes, please. How can you not reach that? Can you harvest now? Okay, I'm gonna have to. Can I? Oh, wait. Oh, I can build here. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Right, let me move. Don't delete. I'm gonna move that so she can actually reach it, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I have a situation here. At least she can't die from hunger because she's pregnant. <laughs> This is going really well. This is going amazing. Like, she's now inspired, but it doesn't override the uncomfortable trait. Which is really annoying, because I just need her to be comfortable. Oh my god, she's burnt! Oh my god. Oh well, it looks like the water's pretty deep. Princess's flashes back to all these scary experiences of being in the water. She would rather not experience the vast and terrifying ex expanse again. Oh, she required a s swimming skill. What, uh, why did the camera pan to her? No! No, 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 no! Oh my god, no! What, 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 what? No. Teleport here? I, I don't know. Can you not? Can, why are you drowning? Why are you drowning? <laughs> Why are you drowning? Oh my god! Can I, can I like, do something about this? Like, I don't want you to die. I don't want you to die, you're pregnant. Go here. I literally can't... That was... I'm debating whether or not this is like... <laughs> Gonna be the star or not? This is ridiculous. Okay, right. You know what? Just, 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 just sleep. Just sleep. Okay. You won't die from starvation. Just sleep. I can't believe she nearly drowned. 
Oh, she's now in her first trimester. Uh, no, we don't. We're not going to the. <laughs> I know you're hungry. Oh my god. Is it is it is it dang it? I'm too uncomfortable. Are you serious? How am I supposed to do anything if you're too uncomfortable? I don't know. Like what do I do? There's nothing to do. She nearly drowned for crying out loud. I need to be able to harvest the Because if I don't, what am I gonna do? She's not gonna be able to do anything. Because she's miserable because she's hungry, so I can get rid of the nausea, get rid of the morning sickness, but that's still going to override everything. So I'm just going to have to do this real quick. Harvest all. Go. Go and harvest them now. Okay, harvest them. Right. And then I'm going to put it back to where it was without killing her. There. Okay, so now she is hungry again. And I'm going to get her to eat a cherry. The last thing I need is her dying in the first part. I mean, she's now in her first trimester, for crying out loud. I haven't even got anywhere yet. We've got what we need in this sort of situation. But, oh my god. So, we need to have a... I mean, a fish trap would be good, but that's 15 resource points. A 10, 10 resource points we could use for a woodworking table. 8 for an infant crib, which would be kind of handy. So I think that's kind of what we need to get first. So I feel like we have 19 here. So we will keep one of them and we'll get rid of the 18 and we'll get ourselves a woodworking table as well as an infant crib so we are ready and i know she's only having the one baby so we don't need to worry about that maybe have it we'll just have it like at the entrance so it's like undercover at least i mean can i i can't get rid of this we just sort of have it there i think she can access it there she's got her little flashlight and then we'll get ourselves a crib and then we have to have resources in order to upgrade it to a toddler bed i kind of like think we should just get this one and then we'll get a swatch that looks like wood well, we get this one i like this one so we'll have this one i feel like this does actually need to be undercover more than anything else really doesn't it so that's not really undercover there anyway so undercover is actually here so let's get this out the way and see if we can put this over here somewhere i guess we'll pop it there and just pretend it's undercover and then we'll pop this just there perfect there we go so let's just place one in the world because we have one spare and then we'll get rid of these it worked that time cool uh we'll keep the berries for now but we do have them if we need them i'll get her to have a quick look for frogs as well and then i feel like we should go some do some fishing so our goals at the moment are level three of gardening level two of handiness and level two of fitness and i do want to get some more stuff so now we have two resources so at least we have the toddler well, the infant bed. Obviously, we'll have the bassinet when the baby is born. God, she is so suntanned. <laughs> so hopefully, we can catch a couple of fish. And then we can at least cook some meals with that. Really? This is when she don't catch anything, isn't it? Okay, so she's now uncomfortable again. Oh, wow. She has a confident, confidently swim for an hour of fear of swimming. Uh-huh. Right, let's eat the cherries that we have here. Let's eat a couple of cherries. 
And then we're going to have to swim again, which is kind of terrifying because I don't want her to really swim because she always died the first time. But at least we haven't got to go too far. So we can go shower nude over here. And unfortunately, sir, you have got to be deleted because you are not supposed to be here. Okay, let's see if we can make it. Oh, we made it. Did we make it? We made it. Thank gosh for that. We need the toilet again? What is going on with your needs, girl? So, um, go to the toilet again. I don't know why. What? Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. Actually, can we harvest anything now? I can't really do anything with the pineapples. I don't know if there's a... Yes, there is a coconut tree. Harvest coconuts. Yes. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, can you go away please? You are not supposed to be here. This is a hard challenge. It's hard because the food situation. If you don't catch fish, if you don't have harvestables, then you don't have anything that you can do anything with. I feel like we need to plant some more cherries. Oh my god, people need to stop spawning. I swear I've turned it off. Maybe I need to like reset the game. I don't know. Stop going on your phone. You don't have a phone. All right. So at least just getting some gardening skill. All right. How many did you get? You have five. Okay. So let's eat four of these. I swear the needs are going down so fast. Obviously because she's pregnant doesn't help. But oh my god. Her energy is going down so much. I'm scared that she's going to drown again. We can't go to the furthest island. <laughs> we just can't. Like, she needs to go toilet again. Why? Oh my god, seriously? What is wrong with you, girl? <gasps> oh, go fishing quick while you can. Oh, she's walking really weird there. It wasn't really fast forwarding. We can go fishing while you can. Quick, quick, quick. We need to get a fish. We need to get a fish, fish, fish. Now, I'm trying to stay true to this challenge as I possibly can, but this is kind of insane. Like, having mods in as well, so obviously having everything else playing into key here is making this quite hard. Oh, please be a fish. Because it's like, oh, yay, we got stuff. We can sell it for money and then we can buy stuff. No, 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 no. That's not how this one works. This one, we have to actually get resources to get stuff. We have to actually cook the fish that we buy buy cook the fish that we get if not we don't have food we don't plant stuff and we don't have that stuff either it's kind of insane out of season of course of course it is everything is going to be out of season now isn't it <laughs> i guess these oh oh she loves outdoors sure at least you'll probably be in a good mood because you have that personality Awesome. I mean, if she falls asleep because she's tired, I don't really care. I just don't want her dying on me. I mean, she's got to look after a child soon. Like, what are we going to do? The thing is, with the infants, what am I going to do? Because you can only feed them certain things. So I guess we would just have to get a high chair. But that's not included in the resource list. Oh my, why is she needing the toilet again? Can you just eat all of the cherries, please? Oh, you can plant, apparently. Plant, then. Eat the cherry, eat the cherry, and then I guess just go to sleep. Nature's revenge from eating halves of fruits and vegetables. Felt great when she probably plucked some of the produce. Uh, oh no, so she's now got a, a bad stomach because of what she ate. Oh my god, why do you need to go to the toilet again? Go to sleep. You're in such a bad mood, this is incredibly crazy. Oh, she needs to toilet again? No, 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 no. Why? This is actually crazy. Why does she need to pee so much? I don't really get what's going on here. Child on the way. Second child. Wait, what? Oh, she's in a good mood. Okay. Can we harvest anything yet? No. Can we just at least go fishing, please, while you're in a good mood? Okay, so she's in a good mood. Let's do some fishing. Let's get some fish. Because I don't think we can cook anything else. Can we? Oh, we have to light it first. I don't know if I can use some insects, maybe. 
Because if I could use insects, I can cook something with insects? Like, maybe? At least just catch a fish today. Please. Please catch a fish. You look awful. I don't really know how this is going to go after a while. I guess once we've kind of got the basics down, then we don't have to worry about resources anymore. Oh, okay. A shell. A camera? We don't need a camera. Oh my god, she's now in her second trimester. <laughs> Princess seems to be coming down with something. She might need to take a trip to the doctor. But she can't. So this is going to make it even crazier. Like, because something bad could be happening right now with her pregnancy. And what can we do? Nothing. Oh, <gasps> yes. A fish. Hallelujah. Sorry, we um can't take our doctor's appointment because we are not here. Uh, catch fish anyway. Sorry, we need it. See if you can catch one more. Come on. One more fish. Yes. An invasive species! Awesome! Well, she's still letting me do it, I might just see if I can get another one. I don't know why she's in such a good mood. I'm not complaining too much about it, it's awesome. <gasps> yes, we got another one! Let me go over here and I'm going to light this. Come with me. Let's go light it, come on. Get yourself in a decent mood, please. Oh, our coconut tree sprouted up, yes! Right. Can you do this, please, without... Oh, oh, no. Beetles. Okay. I have to keep an eye out for some beetles. Okay, let's cook this fish. Please do not set a fire. We can look for some more frogs. Yes! Well done. You didn't try and kill yourself. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. So, we need to get level three gardening two handiness and two fitness so what are our skills right now our gardening skill is three so three our handiness skill we can't do unfortunately because we're already there but we will we will do a couple of sculptures so we'll do at least a sculpture or two um swimming is still level one so we still need to do our swimming so Maybe while you're here and in a good mood, we'll do another fish and then we'll have that hopefully for a bit longer. Wait, did you not finish it or is it just an empty plate? Empty plate, okay. We'll just leave it on the floor for now. We'll get ourselves a bin soon. We've got like, some camping equipment stuff that we could maybe use. So, okay. Put that in our inventory so we have one frog and one thing and one fish okay let's see if there's any more frogs in there please and then we will need to go and ooh, water all and harvest all this is much better so at least now we actually have some food and because these are in season i'm actually gonna plant these so let's plant some more coconut trees. I know they're planted really badly, but we will sort them out, don't worry. And we'll plant some more cherries. Okay, so I feel like now she's in a decent enough mood apart from a couple of things. I think I'm going to actually end this episode here. So next episode will probably be trying to make this place look a bit more like a home. Obviously, we've got to make sure we're ready for when the baby arise which is going to be very soon and it's kind of terrifying how soon it's going to be and also need to make sure that we can probably get like a trash can and everything obviously we've got the handiness table so i need to look into how much handiness the sort of stuff that we need resource wise to do the handiness skill i don't know if this so yeah buy buy the approach we can buy stuff so maybe we'll do like resources to buy components to build stuff because i think i've got a mod in oh level four i think we have a mod in where it's like nails and wood and stuff so that's kind of cool so we kind of like buying the resource packs i guess um 
So maybe we'll do something like that. But I hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be, but kind of fun. I really want to play with The Sims 2 Castaway again, and obviously it's a bit difficult with playing an older console nowadays. And I'm just excited that we now have this challenge with all these mods and everything, which will make it interesting to do. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. Have a lovely rest of your day. We don't have work. I forgot to do that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Bye!